Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time. So you felt guided to the channel by spirit. Let's find out what messages want to come through for you today. These readings aren't tarot, they're intuitive channel messages. So please don't mistake what I'm doing with tarot. It's completely different to tarot. I use these um these cards as symbols to channel messages intuitively so let's see what energy would like to come through today for you taurus so we have earth signs earth energy so let's see what's coming through for you in the current moment all right we have the spirit animal of lizards so i feel like someone's in their reptilian brain so this is about societal programming conditioning so this is very much earth energy um this is you know when we come into earth and we come into um the world here <clears throat> we learn all these patterns we learn how to live by society and we learn how to operate in this paradigm so the reptilian brain is what we learn what we're conditioned and what we're programmed to believe is true whether it's accurate that's another story so when you come to the earthly realm you're conditioned by the reptilian brain the reptilian conditioning the reptilian paradigm the reptilian programming so there's a masculine energy who's in his reptilian brain which is his distorted masculine programming by society so that is the first message someone's in their reptilian brain someone's in their patterning someone's in their programming someone's in their societal masculine conditioning Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like this is a masculine who's been in his distorted masculine energy. And his distorted masculine energy has caused him to operate in a certain frequency, vibration, or paradigm. So this masculine may have treated you a certain way based on his distorted masculine per um, perception, programming, or conditioning. <clears throat> so it's a masculine who's been conditioned by society to treat feminine energies a certain way so i feel like the universe is trying to say to you divine feminine this masculine doesn't know any better he has been taught to treat feminine energies a certain way based on his upbringing based on his environment based on his patterning based on his conditions in society this masculine who's been in his distorted masculine perception of reality thinking that how he's operating in the world is acceptable because he's been taught these patterns he's been taught this behavior and he's been taught this by his reptilian brain by his reptilian conditioning his reptilian programming so he would like to go for it with you we have the ras energy which is the go for it now card so even though this masculine is in his pr programming he wants to go for it with you. He feels a strong connection to you. So the go for it now and the raw energy is all about, you know, a really strong desire to just go for it. He's he's um he's been quite toxic because he's been programmed and conditioned through his reptilian brain, through his his own understanding of this dimension. And he's been listening to his logical brain. So it's a masculine who's previously been quite logic logical right so he has operated a certain way and it's because of his conditioning his societal programming but he still wants to go for it with you he wants to go for it now and he wants to ask you for a new beginning or a second chance so it's the universe and spirit is coming through to say have compassion for this masculine he doesn't know any better he he's in that um environment where He's been conditioned by society to operate a certain way in relationships, in connections. And this is his conditioning, his patterning, his consciousness. 
he's he's a little bit oblivious to how he's been treating you he's a little bit oblivious because he's been taught that this behavior this distorted masculine perception was okay it was accepted and it's you know based on his environment that he grew up in his conditioning societal programming and despite all of this the poor treatment the toxicity the um the patterning he does love you he does want to go for it with you and he wants to ask for a second chance a new beginning so that is the situation there taurus let's find out a little bit more so you've got a masculine energy that despite treating you unfairly despite being in his distorted masculine perception he wants to ask you for a second chance he wants to go for it now with you so whatever happened in this connection it might not have been the healthiest dynamic but the universe and spirit is coming through to say have compassion divine feminine this masculine doesn't know any better okay we have the panther <laughs> So I feel like you might be quite, quite angry at this masculine, <laughs> divine, feminine. We have the feminine coming up as the panther. So I feel like you're really pissed off at this masculine. You're pissed off at how he treated you. You're pissed off at um, him. So I feel like there's this toxic green in your eyes because you're just like, how could you be so toxic? How could you treat me so poorly? How could you treat me so badly? So I feel like it's a masculine energy who treated you unfairly and you're quite pissed off about it. And the universe is coming through and saying divine feminine he doesn't know no any better he doesn't know any different um have compassion for him and his conditioning <laughs> so i feel like this is a divine feminine who's really angry at a divine masculine and she wants to give him a spray and a piece of her mind because he was quite toxic so he was toxic because of his upbringing his societal programming his conditioning his patterning um it's how this masculine's environment taught him to treat women and show up in relationships the divine feminine is very angry at this divine masculine she's like how dare you treat me so badly how dare you think that behavior was unacceptable how dare you talk to me that way or even show up and think that this behavior is acceptable how dare you operate like that I feel like you guys have a very spiritual connection. We have the Pied Piper's energy. This feminine feels a strong magnetic pull towards you. And she and you might be communicating through songs, which is quite telepathic. So I feel like you guys have this beautiful spiritual telepathic connection. And it's like a five-dimensional way of communicating. So you might be communicating your feelings for each other through songs. But this feminine is very angry. We have the Soul Shrinker's energy at the masculine because of something he's done. And he doesn't know any better. So the universe is kind of saying, look at this from a higher level of consciousness. Um, and I'm hearing those kind of scripture for he who knows no wrong or, um, oh, it's just like that energy. I, it's, it's all, it's all distorted in my brain. So this masculine has a distorted perception of reality and he can't see clearly because the channel messages right now are coming through really distortedly. Like I'm trying to channel a message that's like very biblical and this masculine, I feel like he's, he's confused. He's, he's got a distorted perception of reality. He who knows no bounds. I'm hearing all these scripture kind of things from the Bible, which is very prophetic, but it's like they're not coming through clearly. So this masculine's like really confused. He's a distorted masculine. His his um, perception of reality is quite distorted. He's confused and he wants a second chance with you to go for this. But you're very angry at him. You feel this powerful and spiritual connection, but you're very angry. You're very pissed off. You're very resentful. And we have the soul shrinker. So this is a very angry feminine energy for the way this masculine has treated her. Yes, she feels the telepathy. Yes, she feels a spiritual connection. But she's very pissed off at how he's shown up in the connection, how he's treated her based on his societal conditioning, societal programming. So he might think it's okay to treat him mean or keep him keen. Like that's his, his conditioning, you know. How you get the hot girl, you treat her mean, you keep her keen. 
Um, you know, he, he might think it's okay to be cold hearted. He might think it's okay to not show love. He might think it's okay to hide his feelings. He might think it's okay to numb his feelings. He might think it's okay to not be there for you, to not ask you how you are, to not send or initiate the first text message, to, um, make women chase after him. And he might think it's okay to accept more than he he gives and all these type of things are his conditioning and this feminine has had enough she's had a gutful of his behavior and he's oblivious he's so oblivious because he's been conditioned to think that that behavior was okay and this feminine is like she's in alignment with spirituality with a higher power and she's like this behavior is definitely not okay divine masculine i don't know which planet you're from but the planet that we're coexisting on i'm really pissed off i'm really angry because the way that you've treated me is really unacceptable and if you think that that's okay then you can have a piece of my mind and i'm gonna spray you and if you come at me with any toxic green behavior again i'm gonna be showing you my toxic side i mean, be showing you a piece of my mind i'm going to be telling you that you can go f yourself <laughs> so it's a very angry feminine energy let's find out what the connective energy is i could feel that so strongly coming through just now Whew. someone's really angry at a masculine energy and he's oblivious yeah you have hurt this feminine energy so we have the stingray and the oyster so this feminine energy is a very high value feminine energy. She radiates her value. She broadcasts. It's it's a feminine who's in the public eye in some way and she's broadcasting her value. So the oyster is all about, you know, having the pearl on the inside. So I feel like the connective energy is stingray and oyster because you both know that the masculine is stung this feminine. And she's a very influential and highly special, highly powerful and high value feminine energy. And a masculine has hurt her he's stung her he's whipped her with his his tail because this masculine wasn't in alignment so see all of these chakras he wasn't in alignment when he hurt you he was in his societal programming and the universe is saying divine feminine this masculine was out of alignment he was in distorted masculine energy we understand the way he treated you was unacceptable um, and we know that he's hurt you but you've got to try and have compassion for him because he doesn't know any better so <laughs> why does the masculine want a second chance? He's coming through with wanting to go for it and he wants a second chance with you. Why does he want a second chance? Is he awakening to his behavior? Okay. Well, this masculine wants a relationship with you. We have unity and the godmother. So you're his wish fulfillment and dream come true. And then we have two becoming one. So he actually, you know, wants commitment with you, wants to marry you, wants a relationship with you. So I feel like he wants a second chance with you because he, he sees you as his future wifey. So the masculine like really screwed up here because he treated someone and he sees as his future wifey really poorly she's very angry at his behavior and she wants to spray him she's a high value divine feminine energy who radiates and broadcasts her value in some way and the master wants a second chance he's oblivious he's oblivious to his own behavior he can't see past his own aura he doesn't realize the error of his ways and the feminine's very angry at how he's shown up in the connection. So it's a masculine who's very, um, very, very, he's not very self-aware. He's not very aware that he comes off as rude. He comes across as arrogant. His behavior has stung the feminine energy. He, he understands she might be angry at him, but he doesn't know why. He's super oblivious. So what is he oblivious to? Okay. So we have the singer of courage and the bright mother. So I feel like this masculine has been in his feminine energy a lot and the feminine's not impressed that he lacks courage. So when you're in your divine masculine energy, I think she feels like this masculine has been quite cowardly. And when you're in your divine masculine energy, you step into your masculine strength, your courage. It brings out the lion in you. So it's kind of like that energy of like in, in the Lion King, you know, when Nala goes and finds Simba and he 
you know, he was in his conditioning. This is a really good analogy that's coming through right now. I just saw the scene where I'm going to be a mighty king, enemies beware. So the little Simba was quite arrogant because of his conditioning and his societal programming. And then he goes with Timon and Pumbaa. And that is another, another you know, part of the movie where, you know, he thinks he is a warthog and whatever that other Timon character is, it was his conditioning, his upbringing, his pattern, his societal programming. So Nala has come in and she's not very impressed with the masculine, with Simba because he, he is the one that's meant to like basically lead the pack step into his power be the divine masculine so we're kind of in that that scene in the movie here where nala goes and finds simba and he is in that conditioning where he was raised by timon and pumba and you know they thought it was okay to be lazy they taught him it was okay to just eat and sleep and you know not be the king like nala sees the king inside simba and she um, believes in him. And I think, you know, she gets really pissed off because, you know, the the um, the land, you know, has become very dry. People are dying. And it's all because the, the rightful king isn't stepping into his power and he's not having his courage and he's not being the lion. So it's like Nala, the divine feminine, is very disappointed and angry at the masculine for not being the noble king and him being the lion she sees inside of him so it's like that energy of she's really really unimpressed that he isn't reaching his highest self his true potential he's being lazy and he thinks it's okay to behave like this but there's a king inside of this divine masculine that nala sees and knows he needs to step into a role it's his rightful duty it's his birthright and she's like at that that place where she's really pissed off that he's not doing the work he's not being his true self and he's basically the teenage simba that's not ready to step into his power and that's what she's so angry about all right so i'm going to leave that there and take this over to the extended reading um if you're resonating with the message, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. Keeps me on YouTube full time. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, Taurus.